Hello traders, this is Mike Hamilton for Trade Easy Way and interesting day again in these markets. We I shorted this euro down to a reasonable level here and I actually flipped it at the, at the bottom, pretty close to the bottom of the year because we come in contact with these moving averages down here. Uh, if you look at the weekly chart, which is a little bit more telling, <clears throat> we had a hand like bar here last week on this 20 and 50 EMA crossover, and all we're doing now is just testing that cross around the big number 250. So I bought a contract or two here just, excuse me, just to see if I can get this to whiz up to 115, and who knows, maybe even beyond. Um, not put my house on it, it went for a modest level of um, exposure to this, measured exposure, and uh, just to see if I've got my stop under the low of the day, which is very close. So it's a low risk, high reward strategy just to see if that can work. Overall, I've done well today. Um, in fact, I'm actually long this uh, Dow as we speak. Uh, started buying the dips around about the 800 mark <clears throat> and just waiting to see if this can push up. If you look at the DAX, you'll see why. I'm hoping we'll get some sort of push just as we have done in the DAX, and that is right up against the trend line already. Now, the Euro and the DAX tend to have a divergent relationship. So, what I'm anticipating is the DAX will have problems with this area here and drift lower. Uh, as the euro picks up and hopefully might well gather some steam if not it doesn't matter because my exposure is limited okay so it's we've had a sellers bar and a, a two sellers bar in two days but all we've done is close the gap uh, this is one of the few markets that successfully closed the gap which is another reason another box it ticks for me Whereas the Dow has not closed the gap yet. <clears throat> and neither well the indices have not closed the gap. Let's go to the FTSE, because it's all about this is all about the FTSE, the UK after all. Um, and again, this has not closed the gap. We've got a gap down here. Well Friday's close was 60.50, and here we are at six above 62.50. So So at some stage, now whether it's this week, whether it's next next month, ne next whatever, that gap will get closed. It's just a question of when. So we're coming into a, a big level of resistance up here. Could see this continue, could you know, spike right up here to this resistance level up here at 64.36. Who knows? Um, but if you are going to enter this market, <coughs> please be careful and please Think about your position size um, because we are just with as with the DAX, we are just coming into a resistance area. We're just retesting this sellers bar here from the seventh. Alright, so um, when you've got a, a market like this, keep buying pullbacks until it stops working. But just look at the resistance of the um, weekly. We had a hammer last week. Um, dashed up, um, not filled the gap, and here we are with the you know, key resistance levels. Okay, um, try to nibble long on this one and Euro New Zealand. We're just dipping under this support level. Uh, we may come back up and then run. Uh, but it is clearly a downtrend, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it for now. It's not uncommon in a situation like this to, to see a dip before they run it. What's the last thing I want to do is get is to keep buying dips if this is just going to keep closing lower. So I'm out of it for now. And the next key level would be uh, 157. So if this is going to work, then I would look for 157, see if we can pick up and 
<coughs> start to close above that trend line and get a little bit of a run into 170 on this uh, Euro New Zealand. All right, uh, that's all I have for you at this stage. Getting a little bit of a push in the last hour of trading in the Dow. So I'll see what I can make of that. All right, um, new website is very close to completion, which will contain all new products. So I'm excited about that and looking forward to showing that to you. So hold fire and I'll get that across to you ASAP. All right, uh, room will be open tomorrow, but as usual, I will be very cautious. Oh, we haven't looked at the pound. <laughs> Pound US ran up into, you can see on my three hour chart, ran up into this resistance from 3rd of May up here at 774. <clears throat> and here we are just pulling back, just coming back. Now, this has not filled the gap either. We have a gap here at 144, just underneath 144. Okay, so take it easy. Uh, let's see what the markets give us overnight and into, into, into the open tomorrow and I will try and make give you some trade ideas accordingly but uh, just to repeat is that there's a very volatile market please be careful about the position size you're using and trade very carefully within your limits thank you very much and have a good evening